it's amazing how the many, many, many years I was in church. And I don't ever remember being taught on the coming of the Holy Spirit. My Lord. And I'm heading up, 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 up. My God. And people of God, if we are Christians, we ought to know about the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? That's right. And when I was doing this study, I said, you know, I taught on it on last year. And I, the Holy Spirit said, teach on it until the people get it in their spirit that you cannot live a Christian life without the Holy Spirit. Amen. How many of you know we can't live this life, right. this Christian walk, we can't walk this without the Holy Spirit? Amen. And I don't know how many of you in churches and sitting in churches I never heard of the coming, the descending of the Holy Spirit that Jesus promised when he was leaving. Amen. And if you have not heard about the coming of the Holy Spirit and the reason why Jesus said we need the Holy Spirit, you need to reflect back on your life and wonder why you can't walk this journey. Why it's so hard to walk this journey. Because you don't have that fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Am I right about that, people? Amen. Amen. And so today I want to talk for a few minutes. I won't keep you long. I say that the Holy Fire for today. Amen. The rain may be falling, but the fire is falling. Amen. Amen. And I pray that every pulpit, every pastor will be preaching on the coming, the descending of the Holy Spirit today. Right. So that the people of God can know how to live right walk right, talk right, and love people the way that God has ordained it to be. Amen? Amen. And so I want us to go right into our text. You know, sometimes we get holy anger because sometimes we wonder where in the world we were sitting all of our lives. My God. My God. You get angry. You was like, why? What? 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 And so preachers, oh. we need to to study the word of God and know what Jesus is saying to us in this season so the church can be powerful. Amen. The church is weak. There's no power. The church is weak. Why? Because the power of the Holy Spirit is not resting in many of the churches. Amen? Amen. Amen and amen. The importance of Pentecost, the descending of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Let's go right into our text. Verse 1. Come on. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord in one place. And suddenly, somebody say suddenly. Suddenly. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as, as of fire. And it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and went confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own town, wherein we were born. I want you to hold your finger right there to Acts 2, but I want you to flip over to Acts 19. I don't want to read verse 1 and verse 2. Acts 19 was one and was two and it said and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples somebody say certain disciples certain disciples he said unto them have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believe and they said unto him we have not so much as heard where there be any Holy Ghost. Any, any Holy Ghost. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise and we honor you for this special day. To 
to commemorate the birthing of the church, the descending of the Holy Spirit, the power that you have given the church so that we could be connected to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, and by the resurrected power of the Holy Spirit, O oh God, that you would open our dark understanding that you, we may see, O oh God, what you have given to us so that we would be able to stand in the evil day and have an order to stand. We would stand, therefore. And so, God, we give you thanks and we honor you today. As we look at your word, we ask that you would bless us. And, Father, even as we leave this place, that our lives would be totally different because of the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Pentecost, the birth of the church. Pentecost, the birth of the church. Now it was seven Sundays after the ascension of Jesus Christ that it was Pentecost. Pentecost meant 50. 50 days, five zero. So when you hear Pentecost, you remember that it was 50 days after the ascension of Jesus Christ, which is seven Sundays after his resurrection. Now, Pentecost, and there are four annual events on the calendar that the Christian faith celebrate. What's the first one we celebrate? We celebrate the birth of Christ. Then we celebrate his death. Then we celebrate his resurrection. Amen? Mm -hmm. His birth. His what else we celebrate is what? Yeah. Which is Good Friday. And what we celebrate is what? Resurrection, Resurrection. Which is Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm. Amen? And all of those events we celebrate Jesus who came to give us abundant life. But when Jesus ascended, he said, I go, but I will send you the comfort the Holy Spirit. And how many of you know that we celebrate Jesus' birth, his death, and his resurrection, but we forget to celebrate Pentecost, the day when we become a part of the tree in the triune God. Amen? Amen. Come on now. Come on, people. It's Father Jehovah, it's Son Jesus Christ, and it's the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Who's supposed to be living within us? And when I look at it, I said, God, no wonder why when some of us pray, we can't hear from you because we are not connected with the Holy Spirit. My God. My God. Why? God. Because we're not taught. Mm. Jesus, Lord. Yes, yes. The people of God are not taught that this day that was set aside to commemorate the birthing of the church and the power of the Holy Spirit is not taught. God. And that's the reason why the church is so powerless. powerless. My God. Because there's no Holy Spirit. Yet. There's no connection. There's no connection with the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. My God. Jesus said, I, I go. I send you another comforter. I send you a comforter. Jesus. Someone that will be with you, that will guide you, yes, that yes, will walk yes. with you, that will teach you, yes. that will teach you how to love, that will teach you how to forgive. And no wonder why the church God, don't even know how to forgive Jesus. because we don't have the power, my God. the Holy Spirit, Amen. to say, I forgive you. Pentecost, people. Pentecost. Go and study the power of the Holy Spirit and when you get up in the morning you will realize that you are connected to the greatest God of all, the only wise yes, God. Yes, that yes. makes me so happy. Yes. That makes me so happy to know that I can kneel down on my knees and I can say, Father Jehovah, I come in the name of your Son, Jesus yes, Christ. Yes. And by the resurrected power of the Holy Spirit is why I come in your presence. Because you give me the power to be able to come in your presence. Yes, yes. And so, God, we thank you for this day of Pentecost. Oh, my God. The birthing of the church. Thank you, Lord. The day that you gave us you, the Lord. power Spirit, to Lord. overcome anything that tried to come against us. Oh, Amen, church? Yes. 
Amen. Amen, church. Amen. Amen. So this morning, I'm going to talk about four things that happened on Pentecost. Four things, four events that happened on Pentecost, the birthing of the church. Come on, we want to say thank God for Christmas. Come on, the birth of Christ. Yes. Come on, people, thank God for Christmas. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for the death of Jesus Christ. Thank, thank you, Lord. You. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the resurrection of thank Jesus you, Christ. Thank you, Lord. And today we give you thanks for the descending of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. The birthing of the church. Amen. Amen. That's the four things that the church should celebrate. Not only three people. We got to celebrate the four of them. Amen? Amen. We ought to be having Pentecostal dinner. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we have Christmas dinner. <laughs> huh? Come on. We ought to be saying let's have Pentecostal dinner, people. Let's come together in the church and let's eat together and give God thanks for the birthing of the church. Yes. My God. We should celebrate it. Yes. Amen. Yes. This is also called Whit Monday, Pentecost, also called Whit Monday, I mean Whit Sunday. And tomorrow is another celebration day. How come we get to celebrate Sunday and Monday or Pentecost and nobody see the importance of it? My God. We take the holidays. Hmm. Oh, we clap for the holidays because we hop the plane and we say there's another weekend off. This is not a week and all people. This is a special day in the life of the church. It's so special until tomorrow we get to continue to celebrate. Amen. Amen. Thank God for this day. I want you to go. The Holy Spirit is here to give us, the believers, godly wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, fortitude, charity, and the fear of the Lord. Because of the coming of the Holy Spirit, we are connected, like I said just now, to the Father, the Son, and we are the Holy Spirit. And without the Holy Spirit, we have no connection with the Father and the Son. Amen? Amen. We cannot receive power and fellowship with God without the Holy Spirit. If you try to go before this God without the Holy Spirit, it ain't no word. Somebody said it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. work. We need the Holy Spirit. Yes. If we don't, if you, if, if I have this uh, uh, radio and I need it to play and it can only go with electricity, I better push that plug in. <laughs> Am I right about that? Right. And it's the same thing. We can't be connected to God if we don't go to Jesus Christ being connected with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Have you received the Holy Spirit since? you believe? That's a question, eh? I wonder why Paul asked him disciples that. It had to have been that they were weak. Because, you know, weak people, you can always know weak Christians who ain't got the Holy Spirit. They got no faith. They got all kind of excuse why God can't do it. I know. And Paul asked these disciples, he said, have you all received the Holy Spirit since you believe? And that's the question that I'm asking the church of the living God today, Christians. Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? Powerful. If you connected to some people who oh, are you see the devil in them, and that's it. Trust me, they ain't got no God in them. Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. Amen? Amen? The Spirit of God. Now let's go right into our message as we celebrate Pentecostal Sunday, the descendant of the Holy Spirit, the birth of the church. Now I want to point out four important events that happened when the power of the Holy Ghost came. Go back to Acts chapter 2. Like I said, I'm not going to keep you long. So that's four points. We'll be finished. Verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all with one accord in one place. The number one important event that happened when the power of the Holy Ghost came was everyone was with one accord in one place. 
with the same mind and the same goal, and that is to be a witness for Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Come on, people of God, put your hands together and tell God thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Same, same, same spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, you know the Holy Spirit comes to change us. Yes. How come we sitting down in a church for 20 years? And suddenly he's speaking to somebody. Did the Holy Spirit not come to change you? The Holy Spirit, people, comes to change us. We ought not to be in the same place, sitting in the same place in our spiritual lives for 20 years. My God. Still, still wondering why you let me have one sing. Why you let me have one pray. Why you let me tell one lead the choir? My God, get it together, church. The Holy Spirit come to put the church to give us the power to be able to get along and change the way that we work into the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. That is the reason why the power of the Holy Spirit comes. Yes. Yes. Hate the changes. I know. I'm supposed to still hate you. Hey, come on, man. I used to hate you. I don't hate you no more. Why? Because I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. So, people of God, yes. we got to have the same mind, the same goal, yes. the same passion to do the work of the Lord. And that's why 